Hi, this is Minister Robert Lee Williams. We want to welcome you to God's Miracle Ministry, where you can come and see and experience great signs and wonders and miracles that only God can do. We are located in Arlington, Texas, where God has now planted us to preach to the Dallas and Fort Worth and the state of Texas area and anywhere else that the Lord may lead. The Lord has brought me here and to start this ministry for Him. For the website totally belongs to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. And I want to thank God for doing this. This is something that He has put on my heart. He's given me dreams and visions ever since I was in the second grade. And now I see this ministry coming to pass. For this is for today. God's miracle ministry. Now many of you have many questions you would like to ask God. Well, I have many questions myself. I'd like to ask Him. But today's teaching is on why is there no power or very little power in the churches today? You know, I have been wondering this all my life. Now I know why. Think about this. Why is there no power or very little power of God in the churches around the world today? Now, that's very important. Very important question. Now let me tell you why. Let us read in Matthew 6 verse 9, 9 to 13. These are the words of Yeshua, Jesus. He said, after this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Now listen to this. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Jesus is talking about God the Father, His kingdom. That the Father's will be done in earth, as it is in heaven. Right now, God's will is being done in heaven. This is what Jesus and God wants here on this earth today. Jesus wants the will of the Father, His Father, our Father, to be done here on this earth. Now I've done this teaching for a church that I'm trying to prepare. so. I'm giving it to you here first on YouTube. Now let us see a, sh a show of hands who tr truly love God. Well, my hand is up because I truly love God. Who here wants to see God's will done in this church? Well, I certainly want to see God's will done not only in the church that I go to for, for right now, but in all the churches around the world. Who here wants to see God's will done in your personal life? Well, I want to see God's will done in my life. Do you know I'm doing God's will here today by teaching you this? 
I just didn't pop up on YouTube or in this church or any of the churches around the state of Texas or wherever God may lead me because I want to. I was brought here by God, by the leading of Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Just as you were brought here to listen to this message. God has something for you to do here also. You are here to listen to this teaching. The number one thing God wants from you is to build up your faith. He is building up my faith every day also. Just how long my family and I will be in the Dallas area, I don't know. Because I know I'm here to minister and bring God's people unto Him from around the world. Why is there no power or little power of God in the churches today? Jesus answered this question in part in Matthew 6, 14 and 15. If ye forgive their trespasses, your Father will also forgive you. But if you but if ye forgive not man their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you of your trespasses. Now we have all sinned against God. Yes, some of us do it a lot. <clears throat> well, we have... <clears throat> well, when we fall, we ask Jesus to forgive us. And you know, He does because He loves us. And Jesus loves you. Excuse me. Now, Jesus told us we need to forgive others who have sinned against us. I want you to know I have had many people hurt my feelings. I have had loved ones hurt me deep down in my being. Deep down in my being I have been hurt too. And I, just to let you know, I've had some of my kids go to my exes. Some I have not seen in years. But I still talk to them. As a young man, this really hurt me bad. About six years ago, my mother died. Well, my brother took my inheritance. I was to have gotten around $5,000. I didn't get a thing from him. Now this hurt me deep inside. And I know this has happened to many other people out there that's listening to this. And it hurt too. I knew this was killing me on the inside. I had bitterness coming up in my heart. And I did not want that. So I gave it all to Jesus. And I forgave my brother. I went on with my life. I still talk to my brother. He has his problems. So I pray for him. Now for God's will to be done, you must forgive people who have hurt you, no matter what they have done to you. I do want to pray for you today. I want you to listen and tell your friends and your pastors to listen to this very important teaching on why there is no power or very little power of God in the churches today. It is because our worship is not giving honor to God. And our worship must match the heavenly pattern of worship. This is my next teaching. So please listen to this. And if you invite me into your churches to teach this, I will come. 
And I promise you, there will be signs and wonders, and many healings will follow me. Now I want to pray for you. Just like I've had people pray for me when I had people do me wrong. When I lost my children at a very young age, I wasn't there for all their birthdays. Watch them grow up in school. It hurt me. And when my brother took my inheritance of $5,000, I was dead broke at that time. I was living payday to payday, just as I am today. But I know God is going to change that around for me and my family. But I'm here to pray for you. No matter who's ever hurt you in the past, I know this is touching some of you right now. Because you're sitting there thinking. It's, the Holy Spirit is bringing it up. I've had people hurt me. And I know the Lord is bringing it up to you. And you know you need to forgive them. If you want our Father to forgive you of your sins and your trespasses, then you have to forgive them of their sins. For you to go on with your call of God into your destiny, you have to forgive them. Some of you are saying right now, Oh, so-and-so has hurt me real bad. Oh, I've been raped as a child. Oh, so-and-so killed my mom and dad or, or somebody or a loved one our friend I can't forgive them oh but you can I want you to forgive them because if you don't God won't forgive you of your sins but if you're ready to go on with God go to the next level with God and if you want to forgive them right now I want you to, to repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I forgive, you name the name, I forgive this person for hurting me, for sinning against me, Lord, I give the situation to you. I ask you to take this burden from me because I forgive them for what they have done against me. And Lord, I thank you for give, forgiving me of my sins. And I thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. I know that you died on the cross for me. And I know that you died three days later, arose from the dead three days later. And you sat at the right hand of the Father. And Father, I love you. And Jesus, come into my heart and fill me up with the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Jesus. And I love you, and I put my trust in you. Father, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Fellow brothers and sisters, wherever you're at from around the world, I thank you for saying that prayer. If you need to watch this video again, to repeat that prayer, then please do so. Tell your friends and family about this new ministry of God's Miracle Ministry. You can look it up on GodsMiracleMinistry.com. Look it up here on YouTube. And like I said, 
if you want me to come to your church or to your home group here in the Dallas area or anywhere in the state of Texas or wherever, you just call me and I'll come. Just call me up so we can talk about it. And I want to thank you and I want you to tune in to the next teaching on how God wants us to worship Him. Until next time, this is Robert Lee Williams.